all, welcome to Argentina. And I want to know uh, if you have time to walk around the city a little bit, to watch the people. What's, what was your first impression? That was very nice, yeah. I walked around uh, Palermo, um, what was it called? Palermo, Soho, Soho, yeah. And, uh, and also I went to a, <laughs> went to a leather jacket shop and got, uh, got this made. So, uh, Cheap, no? For, for, for a British? Yeah, exactly, yeah, yeah. yeah it was my first time. Uh, everyone says you have to wear a leather jacket here, so I've never worn one before. But, uh, you know, I'm sure trying, trying to blend in with the locals. But yeah, it seems like a very nice, very nice city, a yeah, very nice place to be. Well, first tour for South, for, uh, in South America, and I read that you, you were very, uh, willing to come no, to, the, to the south of the continent. Definitely, we've wanted to come here for a very long time. Um, we've come close before, but uh, now we're here. So, I mean, we've always wanted to come and play here. And, and uh, we've always heard great stories from other people that we've known have come here and played to Argentinian fans and other countries in this area of the world. So we've just been really excited about it. <laughs> you prefer because you are a very important band uh, playing live but you you just played last year and we were recorded in Wembley big stadium theaters uh, what's the difference for you or, or you feel the same although you have 2,000 people or 90,000 people in front uh, there, there are some differences I think uh, when you're playing a big concert you, you have a more emphasis on the show as well not just yourself you think about the, the lighting the video the you know the any acrobats you have and all this kind of stuff so so you, you think about the, a much larger sort of show but when you're playing a smaller concert you concentrate more on just the music and uh, and more on creating a sort of intimate connection with the audience, you know. I think, uh, I think it's nice when you're playing for the first time somewhere to be playing in a smaller venue. Mm. You know that uh, always when, when you talk about a, a rock band, you say, well, they are better live or better recording uh, CDs. The problem with music is that they are uh, here, the, 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 the critic says they are perfect in both sides, no? <laughs> playing live uh, on the stage and also recording. What do you enjoy more? Uh, do, do you enjoy more? Uh, recording a, 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 an album or playing live? There are two different things, no? Um, they're, yeah, they're two very, very radically different things. I wouldn't say we're perfect in any of them, but uh, <laughs> they're, they're, they're so different, you know. I mean, we tour so much, and uh, that's such, um, you know, a huge side of the band that we enjoy greatly. Um, and then, I mean, after, when you've been on the road for a while, you're kind of, you naturally become ready to start working on an album and trying to be creative again and, and working on recordings, which is such a very different thing. I don't know. We, we've never really wanted to try and translate the, uh, the album exactly the same live. You know, we've always treated them as two very different things, two very different sides of the band. <laughs> 